I'm Callum Huff. I'm doing BSc Computer Games Technology at Liverpool John Moores University. It was actually when I came onto the Open Day. Uh, I went to a few of the universities and then it was they decided that it was really inviting. All the staff seemed really excited to get you to come to their university. I met people from the Students' Union and they just convinced me that this was the best place to go. The most enjoyable part of this course so far was definitely the placement year that I did. I went to a game studio in Sichuan in China. I was working as a game developer for six months and then decided to be a designer as well. I, don't know, I spent a year in China learning the language, learning my industry and working in the industry that I want to go into. So it was invaluable really. The tutors have been great since day one, they introduced themselves. We've been working closely with the same people for the three years of study. Uh, my personal tutor has been amazing since I met him. Really hands-on, I've always just been able to drop in outside of his, well, every, all tutors, they have hours in which they're supposed to be three um, in the week, but if you want to drop in and speak to them at any time, any point you see them through the window that they're there, you're quite welcome to come in and they'll drop everything and just come and talk to you for half an hour. The labs throughout the university are continually improving, uh, so, so I've seen a lot of improvements since I've got here. Um, there's all sorts of dev kits in this room for different consoles. We've just got the Oculus Rift 2 dev kit as well as PlayStation Vita that we now offer as well. And I've been told by the subject leaders that we're after getting PS4 and Xbox One development kits as well. Yeah, um, in my first year I was sharing with uh, five girls in my flat and then there was some more guys in the flat opposite so if you live in halls then you get forced to make this big group of friends that you never knew and it's it's great I and mean, then you, you go out with these people you've never met them before and then <laughs> and you're like a big family. We also started the gaming society when I just got here so we had um, again a big group of friends that are all immediately share common interests. I've got two plans at the minute. Uh, plan A is to, because I've worked for the student union for the past two years part time, so plan A is to try and be elected as a vascular officer and be part of them for a year and kind of expand. It's not directly what I want to go into in my industry, but I want to. I really enjoy working for the student union and helping out students, so I like. I want to do it more and more and maybe get paid full time for it. I've made some contacts in Chengdu as well, so I could always. I write an email to the CEO of the company that I already worked at. I also spoke to some other people at other games companies down there, so they might be happy to have me. If you come to university as well, definitely consider living in halls. If you're on the fence about it, then do it. Because <laughs> it forces you to come a bit outside of your comfort zone, you make, immediately make a lot of new friends, and it's, well, it'll change you, basically. <laughs>